guys, welcome back to Today Films. My name is Taylor, and today we will be doing a Lego Star Wars set review. It is the second part to our Lego um, Star Wars haul, the other set that I have not yet to build. And it is the Lego Star Wars Chewbacca buildable figure. Again, big shout out to Bubba for providing me with this set, and let's get right into it. Alright guys, so here it is. This is the Lego Star Wars set 75530, the Chewbacca. With 179 pieces, and I'm pretty sure retailed for $40 in the USA. You can still buy the set. It is still on the shelves, maybe. I'm pretty sure. If not, leave in the comments down below. But this is a buildable figure. Let's take a look at the back of the box. Love the side art there with the TIE Fighters and the Chewbacca face. On the back, this is like on all the buildable figure boxes. You have like this kind of like graphic design look, um, I guess that's what you call it. Um, Chewbacca does come with his crossbow. And he does have, like, his armor patch thing. I don't know what that's called. I'll leave in the comments down below. Um, don't mind this. This is just a little box damage, which is fine. Um, and then on the top of the box, it does show the measurements, which would be 30 centimeters high or 11.9 inches, which is almost a foot by, like, 0.3 inches. All right, guys. So let's get in to um, the unboxing of the set. I'm going to tell you this will be a time-lapse video. You can probably tell by what I've told you that we're going to be like, you know, unboxing it and stuff. Alright, I'm going to have to set down the camera here for a second, and then I'll get this bad boy opened. Tape off with my trusty scissors. Now let's open this bad boy up. So far, so good. Oh my gosh, wow. Alright, so that's a lot of contents, a lot more than I expected. So we'll just go through this. Here we have the wow. This is actually really big. I have small hands, but if I this is what it, this is the Chewbacca head, and that's from the palm of my hand. So that's actually pretty big. Um, here we have like his armor things. I know my cameras are in the shot. Um, those little like whatever go on his chest. And we have a bag of like axis, not axis. Um, yeah, like little technical pieces. That's the word on the chest. Here you have a bag of bigger pieces, and then here you have a bag of smaller pieces. So that's what four bags. Let's move it all over here. Um, and then you have the instruction booklet, little, little bit, but that's okay. Um, no minifigure build in the front because of course it doesn't include minifigures. Just look at the back. Press that, and let's see. I'll lay everything out here. So, I'm excited about this, so let's get into the build. Alright guys, so here it is, the Chewbacca buildable figure, and yeah. To say almost a foot is almost what seems like a decrease. This thing is like huge. Like, uh, I don't have anything. Let me actually reach over here. Just grab a random minifigure. Here we have Falcon. And we're kind of just going to compare the two. I'm setting them down here and then I'll show you. So if we were to look down and move his crossbow out of the way. I know it seems like a far way down, but that's Falcon compared to the leg of Chewbacca. His foot is huge. Like, just his foot is huge. But then you go all the way up, and it's just massive. Um, just a little thing to start off with. Um, it was a great build. I did get confused at a lot of points. Like, I had stuff backwards. Um, so it was a little bit more challenging, um, but I got through it. Um, you do have the, I'll go ahead and show you the extra pieces you do get. So you do get an extra one of these, the, like, satchel pieces. Um, an interesting array of extra pieces. One of these, um, kind of just grabbing over here, different ones. And then you get your little pieces, a little, like, stick. That round thing, the clip thing, the, the rarest piece on the earth, um, the black piece. And then 
that piece. <laughs> and I just called them those pieces. Um, a lot of Technic pieces. And then, like, you can even use the stick for, you know, like a Harry Potter wand or something. So, anyway, um, just a little off-note key there. Um, the Chewbacca, going back to the size, yeah, it really depicts its size in the movie. Um, I will grab here in a minute another buildable figure and we'll, you know, compare it. But, um... So here's the face. The face looks really nice. Really, de This really depicts a Wookiee. Like, the printing, it's all printed, which I really like. It just looks right. Like, this head, um, I love how it like, just goes down like a fur head, I guess we'll call it. Um, then you have the bullet ammo satchel um, that is connected to the side, which is like a little bag pouch so that they use like the chest abs part of like a buildable figure, which is cool. Um, the legs are complete with their fur printing. On the back, it does show a little bit of that Technic stuff. Um, the feet do move. There's a lot of movable places. Uh, the legs move. Or the knees. Then the legs move. The hands move. The elbows move that way. And then the arms move. Same over here. Um, and in this hand, you actually get the crossbow. You see, like, the shadow of Chewbacca in the background, um, which I really like. It has a simple feature to where right here, to point it down some. So right here, you press this button, which I really like, and it fires off um, to hit your opponent, Stormtrooper, or whoever. I think the Platorian Guard was in this series, so you could hit the Platorian Guard. Um, very nice looking. I, um, uh, of course... Uh, not including the few Technic pieces that are sticking out, but very nice looking. Now, I'm actually going to grab another buildable figure to compare this to, because really that's it for the review. Because um, there's no buildable figures we're meant to play with, not as many features beside their weapons, um, which I like about it. Um, so I'm going to grab one right here, and which is like right next to me, and we're going to compare them. Hey guys, so I've got the one in my hand, and since, you know, Chewbacca's in the... Um, Revenge of the Sith, I was like, well, you know, why not grab a clone trooper? So, um, I want to fix him to where he'll stand up right here. He will be in another review, uh, the clone trooper will be. I have a lot of these, and I'm looking forward to doing reviews. So, yeah, there's the clone trooper. Still, like, really tall, okay? Yeah. And there's Chewbacca. So, um, about half of... Mm, yeah, about five inches difference, um, almost uh, half a foot, um, just if you were to look at that one and that one, um, but yeah, so big difference, um, I like the height though, it really depicts a Chewbacca, um, so, again, big shout out to Bubba, um, I did show you the instructions earlier, so if, that's why I'm not showing them now, but, um, again, big shout out to Bubba, this was the last set he did give me, and, um, yeah, just really nice uh, set build. Looks really would look really nice on display, especially with other buildable figures. And yeah, um, even if you put it beside, if you have this set, and if you have the Millennium Falcon, that would look really nice together. Um, maybe even this and Octo Island. A lot of those sets that Chewbacca is seen near that would look good. Um, so, anyways, because it does show, I guess I'm just kind of getting inspiration from the box. Octo Island and the Millennium Falcon in the background. But anyway, thanks for watching Today Films. This was the Lego Chewbacca Buildable Figure Lego Star Wars. And yeah, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you and catch you on the next video. Bye.